Today we're going to be looking at Star Atlantis. It's a project you might have heard about before in the last bull run, but you're not going to look at it the same after what I show you. So let's check it out. What's up guys, my name is Aaron and welcome to UX Crypto. I hope all of you are doing well out there. So obviously we are on a mission to find the sweet gems and see if we can do well out of them and by investing in them at low points, right? So all the stuff I'm gonna be showing you, it's all gonna be at low points. It's not gonna be like, oh, all things are going crazy. Buy in, great project. It's a great project and it's a great price. That's what we're looking at. And if you like that type of stuff, then press that subscribe button right now and give this video a like. But let's not hold you back any longer. Let's just show you the sweet gems that you could be looking at. Let's do it. Start Atlantis. Miles, the station reported a distress signal last night. Eight years now. Pretty sure he's not coming back. go there, we might not come back. What is this place? This is going to change everything. They found out we have the map. What do you think of that? Really cool, isn't it? I've got to say the graphics are unbelievable. You can see where this project could be absolutely massive, right? As in, um, you've seen a lot of other projects in gaming, crypto gaming, and you've got to say that this is up there, right? It's definitely up there. If you're into gaming, let me know if you think this is something that you would be playing. But yeah, let's get straight back in. Okay, so here you go. So if you want to go and click into this, so we're going to go into the site and as we go, I'm going to scroll so you'll see exactly the experience that you get. And here you go. Space technology of tomorrow. Fly your state of the art spaceship to equip with 27th century technology to wherever the heart desires. OK, so it's like an open world game. So you could grow inside of the metaverse. So let's, let's explore. So, OK, so this is some of the graphics you can see. So that is really nice. As you can see from the model in here, they've got some really good graphics, as you can see. And, you know, they've um, definitely done a good job uh, trying to make put this project together. The marketplace, so this is good. Buy and sell your resources and services on Star Atlantis Marketplace, both in and outside the game. Okay, so that's really cool. So in and outside the game, that is great, right? Um, but yeah, there's NFTs, right? You know, we have a mar marketplace of NFTs in this. So what's this, explore? Okay, so here's some more graphics of what they're looking at. Mining towns, this is one of the towns that they're working on. But look at look at these you know graphics, they're really good, aren't they? Like you can't really deny how good <laughs> some of these graphics are, right? Um so yeah, you can see a lot of potential in this, right? Here's some other imagery if you click on next. Deep space mining station. So this is one of the other stations, the mining station they have. This is uh, another rig, mining rig. So this is a ship that you can get, so different ships, it's a work in progress, but really nice. Right, you can see how really good some of these graphics are. Look at this, this is like next level, right? So what is this? See, so the interior, the interior of the ship can be a space out. Can spaceships be out of this world? Definitely, when you experience it from within, you will know for certain, be ready to go beyond everything you've ever imagined. Okay, so this might be like, you know, AR, VR, and you could get inside the ship. And yeah, that would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? If you could do that, it looks really good. Player character customization. Okay, so that'll be good. Choose between different signature styles of your character. Decide the future and direction of Star Atlantis. Through holding the Star Atlantis government's token polis, you will have to say, you have the say in the fate of the metaverse and the rules of governing it. That is cool, right? So basically with your tokens, you can vote for how the rules of the world will be. So you're basically like setting laws, things like that in your own metaverse. That is really nice. 
floor. So here are some of the characters. So AI enabled U star work in progress. So the so this is basically like, a, it seems like to me like a magazine at this current moment where they're just kind of giving you storybooks, but you could have a magazine in the very beginning. Um, and then obviously I'm assuming that they're gonna make these magazines NFTs, right? And then you could buy those at magazines. Maybe they're gonna limit supply, right? That would be really cool if they did that. I'm not saying they have done that, but that would be great. Um, and then obviously they turn into stories. So it's like the whole Marvel thing, right? The whole Marvel thing could come about on this. You can see where this could uh, go eventually, right? So here's the actual gallery. So. We've only got a couple of copies right now and this is what the storylines will be in some of the fighting scenes. Okay, some good, okay, so I'm just gonna quickly run over one little scene from this. So look, unclaimed, uncharted, un everything. Okay, so these guys just come onto this land and it's like, look, it's a new system. And then, look, did I get the right location, marker? Looks like it, so they're in the right place. Target is just past the rigid up there. You got us, you got us as close as possible. This planet is actually amazing. So they're all amazed by the planet. They're like, oh my God. And then, uh, yeah, guy in love. Imagine coming back to this place like this one day, finally setting it down. So, you know, that's just the start of the story right there. <laughs> that might happen. So here you, here you go. You've got like, you know, a little marketplace here that you can see. So you've got, um, you know, the different ships that you might be able to buy. So you've got rare, different things that are not rare. And then you can actually buy them. So, okay, some of these things are going for a little bit of money, actually. So. Look, $946, and you can buy this NFT. Um, and then, yeah, some of them are buying at these prices, some of them are selling at that prices. But so what do you guys think of this project so far? It looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, think about it, man. If you was like growing up and you're playing games, like you never really got an opportunity to like invest in these games in the very beginning. This right here is a way that you can invest in a game that you think, you know what, has a lot of legs behind it. If it's like a game, like imagine you could invest in like Grand Theft Auto back in the day. But one thing I do really like about this project is they're kind of incorporating the whole Marvel universe side of things. You've got magazines, right? So you've got different issues of magazines and then each issue has a story behind it and then that could be part of the game and part of the metaverse that you play, right? So in things you might know, if you know about the story, you might know what will happen, maybe it's placed to your advantage if you own those NFTs, for example. But yeah, you can definitely see where this could potentially be absolutely huge, huge at some point. I mean, the graphics are really good. It looks really, really nice. Um, but yeah, obviously you guys let me know if you think the same. But um, but yeah, one thing we should definitely check out though is who's behind this project? Like, is the team good? Like, can they pull it off? Let's check it out. So here we are, we're gonna go on team and we're gonna check out the team. So we're gonna go on LinkedIn and check out this dude here. So he's the co-founder and CEO and uh, you can see that he's got another project that he's on as well and Star Atlantis. Um, and yep, he's been doing that for two years. And um, core developer at Star Atlantis Studio. Yeah, so it's the same company, right? Um, but he's still a core developer there and big inside of this. And it's been going for two years and nine months. Um, and yeah, so let's check out this guy as well. So Daniel Floyd, okay? And he's a uh, multi chain ventures INC. As he, I think he's a chief executive officer on that as well. And he's obviously in Star Atlantis and he's an art director of 1047 games. Okay, he's got a good background in games. Okay, so now also now that we've checked the team out a bit, let's check out the social media. Let's see if this is going anywhere. They got quite active on social. Let's check it out. So let's do Twitter, man. Let's check out Twitter. Okay. So Twitter, we have quite a lot of followers actually, 313,000. And here you go, you can actually see some gameplay. This is really good to see. Let's see this. Well, all I can say is that is amazing, right? And this is really great to see. This is a very recent post as well. And if you go through their Twitter, you can actually see that there's absolutely amazing stuff that they're doing. They are really doing well at building this project up. And yeah, you can't, I can't complain with this. It's a really good uh, project, actually, a really good one. Now we've seen that, you know, they're very active on Twitter and they're doing very, very well in their socials. And, um, you know, you've got a lot of work in progress that you can actually see that this is actually probably quite a good project. But 
you know, what's the numbers saying, right? Like, we want to know what the numbers are looking like. Can we make a lot of money out of this? Is it already gone up a lot? Let's check it out. Let's have a look. Here we are, Star Atlantis, okay? And we are currently ranked at 513, so quite low down on the list. And obviously, we are seeing a price of 0003. So, you know, not even a penny or anything like that. <laughs> so we're very low in terms of price. And we are at rock bottom prices, okay? rock bottom near enough the low we had was 0.00247 and we are very close to that as well so this went to 23 cents okay and um when it first came out it was at 23 cents and now we're not even at a penny so you could have easily 50x on this one like easily it's, it's easy right um but yeah this is a great project i've got to say and obviously the price is looking very nice too so one thing we would like to look at with Star Atlantis, right, is uh, the market cap. So currently the market cap is at 32 million. Okay, so um, you know a lot of room to grow still. And and if we wanted to get it a lot higher, then you know we could see what type of uh, market we could, we could get. Okay, so if we wanted to actually see where we could get this coin, like if it did really well, like we could benchmark it against you know some really big coins and gaming, right? So gaming, okay, GameFi, we could call it that, right? So, um, so yeah, ApeCoin obviously up there doing absolutely amazing bits, right? Um, but yeah, like on, and then it's um, where was ApeCoin before in terms of market cap? That's what we want to see. Obviously, market cap one billion, very high, and yeah, if we got there, that'd be really good. But um, you know, maybe we want to see where we could get this eventually. Okay. So ApeCoin's market cap at one point hit six billion. Okay, six billion. And I think this one could compete with ApeCoin in terms of, you know, <laughs> how much of a great game it is, right? Um, so yeah, if you're looking at that, then six billion. So if we go back to our coin, so we've got Star Atlantis and we've got 32 million. So let's get our calculator out and see if we can do something fun with this, okay? So we're gonna do, this is 32, okay? So we're gonna do, this is a million. So, you know, if we was to 10 times that would be 300 million, right? But we're not even looking at that, so we probably need to go 100 times that, right? So, um, and that would be free. So I'm, I'm actually going to say, in the top of my head, we're going to do 200x on this, right? And there you go. That is 6 billion, 400 million, okay? And that was like around about the same price as what the uh, ApeCoin was in the market cap before, right? We know that obviously this could 200x. This is an amazing project, as you can see has a lot of potential. So guys, what do you think of this project? It's an absolute beast, don't you think? Um, you know, our main concerns of this project might be like, oh, it's not, nothing's going on with it. It was an old project. But as you can see from the Twitter, they're going absolutely beast mode with development. And you can see that all the great things they're actually working on. Um, yeah, I, I think this has got a lot of legs. It reminds me of like the whole Mar Marvel business structure behind it with the magazines and then actually making those things to NFTs and having a whole metaverse, uh, a game. And you know, who knows what could come from this? There's a lot of opportunities from this. But and we're getting in at the ground floor. We've seen the price. You saw the price, right? Price is very low and the potential is unbelievable. We're talking about 200x even, uh, and you could probably go higher than that, okay? So I would say, keep this in your radar 100% that's what I'm looking to do full disclosure I do own some of this coin already and yeah I think this has got a lot of potential definitely check it out and don't sleep on this coin but yeah if you like this coin then also you're gonna like some of my other videos and my other coins that I review so check out this coin right here and this one's an absolute beast so check it out and if I don't see you though I'll see you at the top Bam. <laughs>